the delegate from the United States of America, Ms. Linda Beeman. United States of America, Ms. Linda Beeman. Warm wishes and greetings from Utah to all the people of America. And thank you everyone for your wonderful hospitality. May God bless you all. Yes, Charles, we have now our own Miss USA. Would you tell us, dear, I'm sure everybody knows by now, but for those who don't, what city you are from? Salt Lake City, Utah. And Miss USA has received an ovation here every night. Tell us, has there been any change in your life since you've become Miss USA? Oh, definitely. I had We had a nice little room, and I came home one evening, and we were changed into the presidential suite. You, you had a room, and now you have a presidential suite? Yes. Well, if you win tonight the Miss Universe contest, they'll probably give you the whole hotel. <laughs> Tell us, are you also planning to be an actress? Well, I, I'm thinking about it, yes. Well, good. Lots of luck to you. United States of America, Miss Linda Beeman. Miss United States of America, Miss Linda Beeman. Miss United States of America, Miss Linda Beeman. From Salt Lake City, Utah. Ladies and gentlemen, the delegate from the United States of America, Miss Linda Beeman. Linda Beeman. The delegate from the United States of America, Miss Linda Beeman. For 1960, Miss United States of America. Linda Beeman. Linda is 18 years old and she's from Salt Lake City, Utah. She has green eyes, black hair, and stands five feet six inches tall. Linda weighs 120 pounds and she's a graduate of Ruth Holman Finishing and Modeling School in Salt Lake City. Linda plans to attend college and to study drama. She told me earlier in the program that when she became Miss USA, she was moved from a little room in the hotel into a suite. And I told her if she got to be Miss Universe, they would probably give her the hotel. Well, I think that's her due tonight, because she is one of the loveliest girls that I talked to since I've been here at the pageant. Linda's hobbies are modeling, swimming, and skiing. 
And I think one interesting thing about Linda is that I've talked to last year's Miss USA, Carrie Huntington, who told me that Linda had the most beautiful walk of any of the girls. And we remarked on the fact that uh, some of the foreign girls, though they have very beautiful faces and beautiful figures, don't seem to walk as well as the American contestants. And evidently that is one of the things that uh, is a point in their favor when they're voted Miss Universe. There she's rising to her throne. Miss United States, now Miss Universe. Everyone's always said that they grow pretty girls in Salt Lake City, and they certainly have. And she's a very popular favorite with this home crowd here who applauded her to the roof. There she sits with her diadem on the throne. <laughs> 